Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Um, in my quest of figuring out what I have before I add too much more, though I don't always stick to that rule very well, and many of you guys know that. Here, let me just get the lens quick on this. I don't know, is that better? I hope it's better. Anyway, this is a bike I picked up back in May. Um, I don't know if you guys recall, Ed Moore, uh, he's one of my longtime subscribers. Uh, he puts videos up occasionally. He just got a couple of new projects, an old Galaxy 500 that he's smashing a 390 into and, uh, and fixing that up. So he's got quite a lot on his plate. Anyway, um, I got this guy, which is a TRX 200, um, shaft drive 200cc Honda, and I got this thing from him, and this thing is, uh, I believe it's a 1985. 250SX. I'm not seeing the sticker on it, but that's what I think it is. Um, he says somebody used to race this. And when I initially got it, I said that it had a um, 200X front end on it, and I was immediately corrected. And somebody told me that this is a 250R front end. So it's got a 250R front end. You can see the headlight. It's got the basket around it. Front fender's gone, but it does have the uh, shoulder pads or the um, it does have a little give uh, the front tire wheel all that appears good there is no disc brakes on it I always like seeing this kind of stuff because you know every once in a while I'll get a comment oh I'm from Youngsville or I knew Burkhart Automotive or, you, you know something like that so I kind of enjoy copying that kind of stuff um, I traded him a bunch of older XR80 parts. He, Ed had an XR80 when he was a kid, and what he, um, what he wanted to do was get one back again. He wanted an XR80. He has a son, and he was going to work on it with his son, and it's, you know, kind of a bring back a little nostalgia. I understand because I obviously have a whole horde of stuff back from when I wish I was a kid. Anyway, this, so this and the other thing we traded for the, um, I had an XR80. One of them was sitting in the barn with no motor on it. And the other one, I forgot where the other one was hiding. I don't know if it was in the basement or where it was, but anyway. So I gave him those two and uh, I got this from him. I wanted to see if it has the potential to run and I'm thinking without more love than I'm probably willing to give it, it won't run. Right now that compression's at about 100 PSI. Um, dry. Uh, before I put oil into the spark plug hole, it came in around 50 PSI. The engine is complete. It's got the uh, the um, shifter is intact, and I checked it to see if it shifted. Look at this. It even has two ignition coils on it. Um, the rear end seized, and I normally, if you give the old brake lever here a few tappy-tappies, they'll loosen up but it seems seems to be st saying seized the back tires I mean they'll be good for the wheels the gas tank mm, well I think you guys could see that probably with a good cleaning and patching it could be sealed and used I probably won't do that you can pick up gas tanks for these things um, plastic ones and that kind of gets rid of all your troubles or most of your troubles for our, the, depending on if it's a Clark or a knockoff brand but about a hundred and fifty bucks 
Right now, as I look at this thing, what am I thinking? I'm thinking the compression is low unless I put oil in it, which means it's probably rings. So my lean is I, I have another engine where the head is damaged. The engine runs, but the uh, front mount is broken off and it's got damage to the head where the exhaust pipe goes in. So though the engine runs um, with that damage, I, I have to replace the head. So this could be a good donor bike for the head. The exhaust manifold looks good. Um, the Kickstarter's there. I checked the transmission. It does shift, but it's got kind of a, a little bit of a weird feel to it and a little bit of a weird sound. So I, I'm, I'm not sure what kind of shape the tranny is in this thing. I think the rear end is good. I mean, you, you add it up very quickly. I mean, handlebars, front tire, good. Pull the jug, off, the head off of it. It's good. The exhaust pipe is good. The headlight, the handlebars, the carburetor looks like it has potential, though the choke is seized up. Though that's very common for these. Um, I mean, it's got the, you know, the dashboard, all that. I don't have the key. The um, throttle does seem to move something, which is a plus. A um, lot, a lot of good parts, and I basically bought it for parts, so um, we're in good shape. Uh, but from a start as it is point of view, probably not. At some point, you know, if I have a few minutes, I might just smash, smash a carburetor on it, and uh, and, and my portable ignition box, just to see. Um, that'll also allow me to, uh, to verify the, um, the rear end, the, you know, the transmission rear end combo. It, it might start and run, but with that lower compression, well, actually let me let it sit for a couple of days and then do another compression check on it. With this engine here, when I put oil down the piston and tried it, the compression came back for like minutes and then um, as soon as you turned it over enough times for the oil to kind of kind of dissipate, it, it, the compression went right down to almost nothing, um, 60 PF, PSI if I recall. If I go and check that thing in a few days and it's still up over 100 PSI, I'll probably start it actually just for a laugh. But um, it looks like it's got a lot of good parts. The other bike with it, the um, TRX 200, I also have to get that into a better place and better storage. Um, it's already the 20-something of July, which means we're starting on the end of July. Um, so I have to uh, I have to start thinking about where my putting some of this stuff and how am I going to take care of it for the winter. I got more of the important stuff, stuff that's important to me, covered and taken care of than usual, but still, um, unless I move some stuff, I really don't have a work spot and that's, that's not where I want to be this winter. So, um, I think that's about it. Hopefully I, um, I got a couple more deals cooking because I always like to have deals cooking and we'll see how they turn out. Um, and in the meantime, I guess, folks, try to remember to keep your feet on the ground. Keep your head in the sky. Try not to fall on your butt. Remember, get out there and enjoy all your days. Make sure you get out and have some fun. Take care now, folks. Bye.